Sarado, tatlong minuto po na lalabi. In game number six, Abante San Miguel lang anin, 65 to 59, but Formula Shell is on the attack here. They need to score ito, Yeng. Kailangan, kailangan. Kung hindi, talagang mga ngamoy championship para sa San Miguel. Paras, napitaw! Malakas yung talbog ng dribble niya eh. Oo, buwelo na sana siya, pero napalakas nga yung talbog. And now, San Miguel Beer has an opportunity to stretch their lead here. Mott, pumasok sa gitna, tumira, yes, sir! Perkin, come on! Ito na. 27 points, 16 rebounds para kay Turk Mott. And ngayon, si Perry Longquillo, after seeing that lead go down sa apat, ngayon, balik sa walo. And he will call a timeout at nangangamoy kampinato na dito, at least with the beer men. And because of this last two plays, Yang, na ginawa ng San Miguel Beer, it has been, well, a game na in, of spurts. At yes. yung intensity ng San Miguel Beer has been simply uh, fabulous dito sa final quarter. Actually, nangyari dito yung depensa ng Shell kanina, held down to one field goal yung offense ng uh, San Miguel. But after that, ano sabi natin, mukhang natauhan na yung San Miguel. Akala kasi nila kanina, tapos na. Tama yan. And they realize that they still have to work this game out. Ayun, pumutok ulit sila. Ito pang 30-second time out na to. Eh, hadid sa inyo ng Philippine Airlines with you all the way. Yeah. Ito yung last two plays yung na pinabanggit natin. Turk Mott going inside. Nakikita si Ildefonso. Sasapayan siya ni Benji Paras. But the man from Lawan Samar, again to the rescue. Freddy Abuda getting the points. And then, sabi ni Mott, hindi ko na ipapasa ngayon. Ako na ang gagawa mismo ng putos. And that's back-to-back -back baskets for San Miguel. And they're on top by eight with only 2.16 remaining. Uli, kasamang Nooli, yung talagang uh, main play nila ang pumatay dito sa Shell. Alex si John Best, but that's a quick two points. Yes, you can, al yon. you can almost be sure here that they'll give the ball to the post okay, Turkey in Mott and create some situations from then on. And the last two minutes is brought to you by London Gin Jr. Now in a handy junior size, London Gin Jr. just right for you. Here's the last one, rebound. Oh, John Best. Sa kanilo na yun. Makaroon. So now, hindi mo kailangan pumuntos dito ng San Miguel. Ano? Kailangan lang nila na uh, i-hold down or uh, use up yung kanilang uh, shot clock dito. And everyone is on their feet now. Will the balloons fall tonight? They have to force a turn over here. Mot, nasa labas. A lot of time sa kanilang shot clock. He goes inside. That's a win! When the going gets tough, Turkin Cuba Mott gets going. Watch this move. Sumakay ka pa. And Turkin Mott with 29 points. At ang San Miguel, 8 points. Ang Abante with only a mid 42. We'll be back. <laughs> Para sa San Miguel Yang at, at this point, medyo kailangan na talagang humanap ng milagro si Perry Longquillo. Kailangan na. Forsado na rin sila dito. Na, well, for some turnovers, maybe gamble on their fouls. Just to stop the clock. 
they are in the penalty at yung foul na yan ay iahapit si Danny Siegel sa free throw line ito yung huling galaw ni Turk Mott he is the only Balik import who has not won a championship well tonight with this shot he is showing that well I deserve a title <laughs> ayan na kita mo naman yan pambihira at uh, actually sa ganito situation you know, when the adrenaline is pumping up and then it was in third mode they, with that kind of build and with his strength it's almost impossible to stop him once he starts going to the basket idinidi na niya na gusto dito eh dito huling dalawang minuto Jongo Wichigo trying to join a rare breed dito sa PBA a rookie coach trying to win a first title in his first season the lead is up to nine with only a minute and a half remaining Esplana, Sumira sa labas, wala, rebound, kinuha na naman ni Mott. 17 rebounds today para kay Turk Mott. Oh, wala na talagang options for Shell other than just try and go for those quick two points. Or if ever, pag kami opening ko sa three points, sugal mo na rin. Danny Siegel goes inside, nabitawa ng bola, and look at Mott dive for the leather. Siegel gives it up to Siegel, oh, wala na siya. Sobra na yan, hindi sobra na yan, sobra na, grabe na yan. <laughs> At nababangitin na si Danny Siegel. Well, he can smell the champagne. Less than a minute remaining. San Miguel on top by nine. Diyan lang po kayo. This is game number six. We'll be back. Just to stop the clock and uh, subukan mo lang San Miguel mula sa free throw line. Magandang gabi sa inyo lahat ulit mga kaibigan. Final seconds of game number six. Noli Iyala po kasama si Yeng Jao. Magandang gabi sa ating mga kababayan sa San Pablo City, Laguna. Henry Coanco. Medyo, alam mo sabi ko kanina, naamoy na daw nila yung champagne. Mukhang mas ang appropriate, naamoy na nila yung beer. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Danny Seagal, si Piscina Lugurado yung dalawa. Balik sa walong abante. Kailangan magpandali ang formula shell. Time is not on their side. They look for Noy Castillo again. And that one is short. And that may be it, Yeng. That may be it. Tama ka nun. At ito, San Miguel will use up the time and wait for the foul. But mukhang yun na nga yata. Mukhang amoy championship na po para San Miguel dito. Hindi na ako kumakasal ang Cornel Sayer. Kumakasal ang foul si Benji Paras. Five years, mga kaibigan. Five years ang inintay ng San Miguel Beer. For this opportunity, the last championship that they had was back in 1994, the All Filipino Conference. Yes. Kung saan na dahil don, sila ay naging representative ng ating bansa dun sa Asian Games sa Hiroshima. Pero natasiguro kaya lang din natin bigyan ng credit dito, no? Yung tumulong kay Coach Jong Yu Chico. Ayan po si Lamont Strother sa import nila sa second conference. Bigyan din natin ng credit dito kasama ng Oli, si Ron Jacobs na uh, tumulong na uh, i-shape up itong team na ito. Make it into a championship caliber team. And San Miguel Beer is only 26 seconds away from the PBA Commissioner's Cup Grand. Sa player din ni John Besson. Well, Formula Shell tried their best kick. Wala ka nang masasabi, no? There's nothing really that they have to be ashamed about. Nakabalik sila from 0-2. At one point, sabi ng mga tao, baka sila na nga ang mag-champion dito. Pero alam mo, ganyan talaga swerte rito sa basketball eh. San Miguel proving that well, kalakan mo hindi lamang isa, hindi lamang dalawa o taklo at the whole team and they certainly responded. Eight seconds remaining. The celebration has begun. It is a Bell Sports Arena. That much time remaining before San Miguel is crowned the PBA Commissioner's Cup Champions for 1999. Jomo Wichiko receiving the victory ride. A well-deserved ride for this head coach, this rookie head coach. 
who steer this team against all odds laban sa isang napakalakas na Formula Shell team. Yes, kasama mo uli, ito yung tinatawag nating destiny. No? Actually, some people thought that uh, medyo ano sila, medyo dehado na sila doon sa series sila doon sa Alaska. They thought Alaska would come in into the finals, pero they proved everybody wrong by coming in and uh, winning the crucial games you know, to the series sila. and this time winning another crucial game in the final series. Talking about that Alaska series, they came back from a 2-1 deficit to snatch that series. And now here, coming back, taking the first two games, losing the next two, and then coming back strong in game five and six. Kung babalikan natin itong history ng San Miguel, they made some adjustments here they took in uh, Nick Velasco, Dwight Tago to sa kanilang trade. They took in Boy Beats Victoria also through a trade. And now, this team is a champion team because of all those moves that they made during and before yung uh, conference na ito. Malaki. Malaki talaga. Ito. And yan ang uh, buong kupunan ng San Miguel Beer nasa hard court. Perry Ronquillo graciously receiving the runner-up trophy mula kay Commissioner June Bernardino and nothing to be ashamed of. Formula Shell also down 2-1 to the Serie Nila against Santa Lucia. Again, showing the heart of a champion. Pero medyo kinulang sa dulo ang kanyang kupunan. Yes, at uh, nakita natin si Perry Ronquillo, dignified look. Ano? Wala siyang dapat ikahiya dito. The oh, team itself, ayun, nakita natin si Turk Mott. That is a poignant moment dito sa championship series. Well, Mott uh, and Ron Jacobs. Ron Jacobs was instrumental in bringing Mott to this team. And what a performance for Turk Mott. Yes, and uh, congratulate na rin natin yung uh, mga big bosses dun sa San Miguel. Ano? Si Henry Cuaco, nandito. Mukha si Boss Danding. Wala rin Wala na, yata uh, uh, New Zealand yata siya. Jongo Wichiko na naglaro para sa kuponan ni Ron Jacobs. And who always considered Ron as his mentor. Now going over to his, well, his mentor. What a shot. What an image. And look at Ron Jacobs, he can feel Alam mo, hindi man siya nag-champion dito, he can feel it Tama, kasi sinasabi natin kanina Hindi man siya nag-champion, parang uh, vicarious din no? Through Jong Yuchiko, nararamdaman niya Kung anong pakiramdam ng maging isang champion coach What yeah. a dream conference Para sa San Miguel Pier Limang taon po ang kanilang hinintay Para matikman muli ang kampionato Sa PBA And now they are crowned King again Sa bayan ng superstars Alam mo, napakasarap ng pakiramdam niya, na Jong Yu Chico, champion coach. Yung lahat ng uh, hirap mo, nagbunga. No, lahat, na, lahat ng sacrifice mo, nagbunga. Eh, wala nang tatalo doon sa ganong klaseng pakiramdam. Itong panalong ito, double significant, Jeng, dahil ito ay maglalagay sa San Miguel, second overall sa pagdating sa pinakamaraming corona sa PBA. Isa na lamang ang inahabol nila. Matatay yung, na nila. Matatay na nila ang CRISPA na may labing tatlong kampionato. Oh. And with this lineup, batang bata, Danny Ildefonso, Danny Siegel, eh, idagdag mo pa dyan yung bago nila acquisition si Nick Velasco, and they have a very uh, mature backcourt na si Rasela at si Boybits. This team will go a long, long way. A long, long way. So maaaring uh, in the future, ma-overtake -over na nila yung record ng uh, the legendary team ng CRISPA. Tama yan. At ngayon, binibigay na ang uh, championship trophy sa Coponan ng San Miguel Beer. Commissioner June Bernardino doing again the honors. Art de la Cruz, Olsen Rasela hoisting that Commissioner's Cup crown. <laughs> and Ayun. the celebration continues. Medyo naipit na yata si Commissioner Bernardino <laughs> nun. Kaya ko makikita nun. <laughs> what a series. Ayun Pamira na naman talaga itong sharing ito dahil pamula sa pasimula hanggang dulo Talaga yung dalawang kupunan. We remember game number three, it went into overtime. Nakakita natin yung uh, pagbalik ng uh, Formula Shell in game number four. Yes. And there were no easy games ha? Para, sa both, para, both, para both teams. Walang nagtambakan dito. No? Oh, wala yung malayo. At, uh... Ito na yata yung pinakamalaking lamang eh. Yes. Sa sharing ito. At mukhang uh, partner, ang ating kaibigan na si Anthony Santaya, meron ng bisita dyan. Ang uh, presidente ng San Miguel Corporation. Anthony, take it away. Okay, thanks a lot. We're here with Mr. Esmendi. Sir, it's been a long time coming. Congratulations. Thank you very much. And I want to thank all the San Miguel fans for their continuing support all these years. 
I think our team really played very well and their victory is very meritorious because we played against a very good team. The Shell team has been really very good and the, the victory is well deserved. But I also want to congratulate the Shell team for playing very spiritedly and a very sportsmanlike manner. Did you feel it in your heart that today was the day? Yes, I had a hunch that this was going to be it after 10 years. <laughs> Congratulations, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, we're going to take it back to the panel because we got to look for somebody. Wait, we have Coach Joey Chico with us. Coach, Coach, congratulations. Give us a couple of minutes. You know, you belong in really, really great company. Rookie coach winning a championship. Uh, yes, it, it really feels different. I mean, the pressure's there, but it's very nice to win. Um, well, I'd like to take this opportunity, really, you know, to thank everyone, to thank... Um, Sir Kowanko, the chairman, for believing in me. Mr. Henry Kowanko for his all-out support. Coach Ron, I wouldn't have done this without him. Okay, we're a great team together. Uh, we wouldn't have reached this fight, win the championship if, if he wasn't around. And he's always behind me all the way, all the way. I thank him. I appreciate that very much. I owe him that. The players, thank you very much for the players. Without them, I'm not here also. But. Uh, I still have a long way to go. I thank the Lord, I thank the Lord, I thank my wife. I thank everybody, the fans have been there for since the beginning, even though we lost the first conference, they still stuck with us. Thank you very much, thank you. You know, coach, with the kind of lineup that you guys have, hindi ako nagdududa na magja-champion kayo ulit, but this first one must be the sweetest. It's very sweet, I'll remember this for as long as I live. Drama, no? Pero I really remember this, I really remember this. I've gone through a lot. I've got a lot of negative um, uh, press from the press, but that's that's the way it is. It just goes with the territory. I just thank the Lord that He gave us this championship. It's a lot of hard work, but after this, I'm sure it's all worthwhile. It's all worthwhile. Hard work. The harder you work, the luckier you get. Okay, congratulations, Coach Savor it. Thank you, thank you. Let's go over to Janelle. Janelle, who do you have? Of course, every man's success is a woman. Kasama ko ngayon ang mga wives ng coaching staff and ng players ng San Miguel Beer. Munahin natin sa aking left, itong si Ren Ren. Ren Ren, napakaganda na pinakita ng asawa. Anong feeling ngayon ng wife ng isang star? Of course, very proud. At saka for very, very long years, di ba ngayon nalang uli nag-champion. Talagang tuwan-tuwa kami and we thank the Lord for this. And of course, Daisy, anong masasabi mo? Siyempre, sa inyo, sa inyo namang loves at nanalo sila ngayon first year niya dito sa San Miguel. Well, um, siguro, uh, congratulations na lang sa inyong lahat. Uh, lahat sila nagpagod. Um, tsaka congratulations kay Coach Jong. Yeah, San Miguel's the best. Okay, nabanggit si Coach Jong yung wife ni Coach Jong. Ah, hindi na. Okay, hindi tayo masamahan. But anyway, Melissa Rosella. Melissa, ano yung balita ko na marami raw kasing swerte dahil marami raw buntis sa inyo dito? Lima. Lima yung buntis. Mrs. Mustre, Mrs. Padilla, Mrs. Eldifonso, Lago, Velasco. Five. So, from the... Okay, from the wives, kuna naman natin isang congratulatory message. I-congratulate niyo naman yung mga mister niya. One, two, three, go! Congratulations! I love you all day! Okay, that's it from here, but thank Anthony. Over here now with Mr. Gala. Mr. Gala, congratulations. Thank you very much. Did you feel that today was the day? Well, uh, everybody felt that today was the day. The boys were prepared, and we want to thank the Lord, our fans, and especially our team and the coaching staff. Was it everything it was said to be? The championship supposed to be great. It's supposed to be sweet. Is that how you feel, sir? It is, especially after five years. <laughs> something that we really were looking forward to. Okay, congratulations, sir. Thank you. Let's go over to Janelle. Oh my God! Okay, kasama ko kayo. Danny, and the phone, so Danny! Okay, Danny, napakaganda kayo pinakita niyo, but then, nakahabol sila. Pagkatapos yung makakuha ng dalawa doon sa start ng series, nakadalawang sunod ng shell. Ngayon, kinuha niya sa ang part ng game na feel mo na sa inyo yung championship. Kasi, pagkakataon na namin mag-champion ngayon, kasi, kung magiging game 7 pa, mahihirapan na kami kasi pupunta sa kanila yung ano ng game. Kaya inisip namin, ano, wala nang bukas-bukas. Okay, ano sa tingin mo yung nagpanalo sa inyo? Depensa namin. Okay, marami salamat and congratulations. Oh, thank you. Ch -ch salamat sa Lord kasi nanalo kami. Thank you. Okay, muli, that's it from here. Balik tayo kay Anthony. Thanks a lot, Janelle. We're here now with probably the biggest supporter of San Miguel Beer. He's here shouting his lungs out every game. Sir, congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you. The team really deserved the victory tonight. They were very hungry, and we finally got it. After five years, victory is very sweet. 
Well, all those five years, you've always been here supporting this team. It must be really sweet for you. Yes, it is. Very, very proud of the team. It's only the start. We've got several more to go. Congratulations, sir. Thank you very much. Janelle! Medyo nalulot na si Janelle So sa dami ng uh, San Miguel Pier San Miguel Pier fans at saka San Miguel Pier dyan sa hard court ng Phil Sports Arena pero makikita mo yung tuwa talaga nila Kaya alam mo, hirap talaga na naghihintay ng limang taon na ba ako pag naghihintay ng limang talaga. taon eh. Kaka, Alam ko na ngayon kung ano sikreto ng championship Kailangan pala yung mga asawa ng mga players eh, mga buntis, buntis <laughs> well, Right now, kasama ni Anthony Suntay ang isa sa pinakamalaking supporter ng San Miguel Pier Walang iba kundi si Mr. Henry Cuanco. Anthony? Thanks a lot, Nolly. We are here with Mr. Cuanco. Sir, at the start of the year, I'm sure you knew that you had a very special bunch and you're very proud of them so far. Yes, very. Uh, unfortunately, in the first conference, they didn't do so well. It's a very young team and we just had to keep on working on what we're supposed to do and how we want to play. And finally, it paid off. Well, it seems like they have matured and is this the first of a lot of championships to come for you guys? Hopefully. Uh, there's no guarantee, but we just have to work hard and prepare, and prepare for every game. What about the fact that you guys never sat put? You had a strong team, but you still made moves during the season, getting Nick Velasco, Chris Bulado, and Dwight Lago, and they really did help you out. Yes, that's true. Uh, we didn't have enough depth, so we had to get some size and some speed, some quickness for our rebounding. Uh, we really don't have a big center in San Miguel, unlike some other teams. Well, congratulations, sir. Savor the victory. Thank you, Anthony. Yes. Thank you. Take it over to Janelle. Okay, thank you, Anthony. Kasama ko naman ngayon, Boy Beats Victoria. Boy Beats, after makuha ng Shell yung Games 3 and 4, papano nyo si Nike yung sarili nyo para makuha nyo naman yung magkasunod na Games 5 and 6? Una-una, uh, naniniwala kami na kaya namin itong team na to. Uh, after Game 3, which is kaya-kala namin, kayang-kaya namin sila, binalik nila kami sa lupa nung Game 4. They proved na sila yung team to beat then dito sa team na to. Okay, itong... Itong game 6 na to, ano sa tingin mo yung nagpanalo sa inyo? Uh, yung ano namin, yung coaching staff, they came with something na para para yung lahat na ibabato nila sa amin na nagagawa namin ng mga, mga yung mga problema binibigay nila, nagagawa namin ng solusyon. Boy, it's all throughout the game, lamang kayo, umabot pa kayo ng 14 points pero nahabon nila sa ang part ng game 1 na feel na sa inyo na itong championship. Right from the start, sa dugout pa lang, mapipil mo na na gusto gusto nang manalo. So, ayun pa lang, sa start pa lang. Okay, maraming salamat and congratulations. Salamat, Janelle. Okay, balik po tayo kay Anthony. Thanks a lot, Janelle. Kasama ngayon natin. Lahat ng mga kasama natin galing sa San Miguel. Of course, pinamumunahan ni Mr. Wang. Mr. Wang, I'm sure you're very proud of this group. Yes, of course. Uh, in fact, uh, the sales man, the uh, national management team is around me right now and they are all excited about this uh, championship. So, umpisa na natin celebration. One cheer for San Miguel. Yes. Uh, isang malakas. SMB. SMB. One, two, three. SMB! Congratulations, sir. Thank you. Thank you. We're going to take a break, but don't go away because we're going to be back. Mga kaibigan, uhon, uhon sa kampinan ng San Miguel at mabatawin na ng uhon. San Miguel Bill, sarap maging barkada. Nagagrawl tayo dito. Saka muna, tatawal muna. Kasama ko ngayon si Mike Pustra. Mike! Ako muna, ano na naramdaman mo kayo? Batiin mo na rin, nagyunahan na kita. Batiin mo na yung mga tagapakulod. Yes, sabi na bati kayo mga tagapakulod. Para sa inyo to, lalo na sa tatay ko, pa sa mga in-laws ko. At saka, nagpapasalamat ako sa sa unit namin, sa household namin. Thank you sa players. Thank you sa couples for guys. Thank you, thank you. Obviously, mukhang masaya-masaya ka si Mike Lusre. Taka muna, taka muna, taka muna. Patay mo sa lamin ko, nahulog na. Ayan, ayan, tinanggal ko na, tinanggal ko na. Medyo nagka-ground na tayo dito. I'm here with uh, Danny, Danny Siegel. Well, Danny, you almost won the uh, Best Player of the Conference Award, but unfortunately, your luck sort of ran out in that uh, award category. But you're right on target after winning this championship to bag one or a bigger plum of the awards, which is the MVP for the season. What are your thoughts on this possibility? Ah. Uh, I don't care about individual awards because they don't matter. <laughs> All that matters is winning a championship. And this is an indescribable feeling. I can't wait to win another one. <laughs> okay, okay. If you're going to sum up your feelings in just one word, what would that be? I don't know. I can't. It's just indescribable. 
Okay, okay. Thank, thank you, Danny. Well, mga kaibigan, tuloy pa rin po. Ang uh, saya. Ang dito, lakay, lakay. Lakay. At ang muna, matcha sa isang title. At dito po si uh, Danny. Uh, dito po si Danny. Alam mo, naalala pa ng mga kababayan natin. Ah. Noong nakaraang taon, luhan kang umuwi. Matapos ang championship niyo. At yun, nakita ka na, pinaginiguan ka ng mga kasama mo. Alam pa kanamdam mo ngayon bilang uh, kasama ng champion uh, squad na San Miguel. Pakiramdam ko ngayon, ako pinakamasaya ngayon at saka nagpapasalamat ako kay Lord kasi nag-champion kami ngayon at saka lahat ng sumuporta ng San Miguel at saka sila Pops, yung manager ko, anak niya si ang mga asawa, ang asawa ko at saka ang mga asawa ko Si Renren, na-interview na natin doon kanina, alam ko masaya-masaya ka pero wala yung hinahanap natin, inspirasyon mo si Sean eh, di ba? Andoon, andoon sa, nasa kanya, kaya ano susunod pa at saka, ano, taga ko na at saka salamat sa mga taga-organet. <laughs> salamat sa'yo, Lakay. At ito naman, si Olsen, Olsen Rosella. Olsen, iba klase nila rin mo sa araw na to. Talaga kanina, bago tayo lumabas ng dugout kanina, naiwan ka pa dito sa dugout, nagdadasal ka man. Ano nga, ano nga yun sa isip ko? Ito nga rin ito ng championship. Ah, uh, ano yan? Hindi ko marinig. Pero, siyempre kailangan na magdasal tayo pa rin sa ganitong klase ng... Uh, Uh, game eh. Uh, Diyos lang ang siyempre makakatulong sa atin. Pero um, gusto ko lang bumati sa lahat na nga naghihintay sa championship na to. Parents ko, brothers ko, Mama Papa Nash, Wally, sa Silay, mga in-laws ko, Puy, tsaka Gaston, Rosella family ng Ilocos, tsaka mga taga-paterno sa Galas. Kamusta kayo? Cousins ko, the Escueta family. Hi! Thank you! Ah, champion tayo! Okay, teka muna, nag-crown na tayo dito. I'm here with the Turkey Mall, this conference's best import Turk. Did, it ever, did you ever doubt that this team will finally nail the championship for San Miguel? The championship they've been waiting for uh, for five, 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 five years already. Uh, when I first came here, I didn't intend on winning the championship. I didn't think we'd go this far. I really, I really wanted to try to get in the NBA this year, but I promised coach if I had any offers, I'd stay. And I stayed and it paid off. On a personal note, what did this championship prove to the Filipinos watching? Say that again. On a personal note, what does what does this victory prove to the Filipinos who's been watching for two more days? He was a bad boy when he was before, and now he's a reformed man. What does this prove? Uh, it just shows that there is a God, and when you give somebody a second chance, good things can happen sometimes. You don't have to quit on people because they bad or they do bad things. Everybody gonna grow up. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you I know you want to celebrate. Okay, mga kaibigan, dito. I'm here with Dwight Lago, Chris Pallad, and uh, Nick Velasco. Okay, first you guys, okay? You were part of a blockbuster deal midway in the season, uh, midway in the conference from Pop Cola to San Miguel. Was the transition difficult or was it smooth sailing for you guys? Well, I had to learn this. We had to learn the system still, but once we learned it, it was okay. Once we learned it, we... We were able to fit into the system well. We knew our roles, and here we are. How about you, Nick? Uh, I just want to thank you know, San Miguel for giving us this chance. Uh, I just want to say hi to my family in Stockton, California. The wild, the locos. Hello. Love you guys. Okay, Chris Palato, mga kaibigan. Well, walang duda, pinaka, isa sa pinakasikat na player ng uh, San Miguel. Chris, medyo hindi tayo nagamit, pero ikaw nga, alam ko, ikaw eh, bukod sa pagiging isa sa mga disiplinadong player ng San Miguel, ikaw na ang pinakaswerte. Ano ba sasabi mo dito? Dahil ilang championship teams na ang nakapaglaro dito, nakasama ka sa line-up nila. Uh, wala na ako masabi. Muntang papasalamat ako sa management. Tsaka yung mga Tagalog bang kayo son, mauban, uh, sa misis ko, sa anak ko. Maraming salamat. Management, papasalamat ako sa inyo. Okay, okay. Well guys, ito pa si Dwight Lago, Nick Velasco, and Chris Bolado. At uh, tuloy pa rin tayo dito sa loob ng uh, ating... Ito! Ito po, mga kaibigan. Si Freddy Abuda. Fred, alam mo, hindi alam na lahat na pero you were playing hurt. Meron kang injury dito sa ating uh, series. Pero alam mo kung merong pipiliin si Turk mo talaga, nasasabihin niya kung bakit pinakamahal niyang player dito, ikaw! Ikaw daw, sabi ni Turk mo. Eh, talaga ba? <laughs> Ganun ba kayo? Ganun ba talaga kayo ni Turk mo? Hindi, um, um, siya parang naniniwala siya sa akin na, na sa, sa kakayahan ko, na, tulad sa pagdidepensa sa import, ay nani, uh, natutuwa naman ako na yung ano yan na um, <clears throat> talagang 
Nakaka ano sa puso. Ah, ganun ba? Kasi mo na, batiin mo na yung mga gusto mo pasalamatan dito sa championship na to. Alam ko, matagal mo lang hinihintay ito. Marami-rami ng ikangan gera na sinapit mo dito sa San Miguel. Yes, unang-una nagpapasalamat ako kay Lord. Salamat at saka sa mga couples for Christ nung nag-pray sa amin. Nanalo ko kayo. At saka sa nanay ko, sa lawaan ni Sir Samar. Nay! Nanay ko nanay. At ganoon din sa mga sumusuporta sa San Miguel. Salamat, salamat, salamat. Okay, salamat sa iyo, Fred. I'm here with Robert Duwat. Robert, obviously patience should be one of your virtues. You were, uh, you know, you didn't see that much playing time, but I know that you're always ready to play on the hard court whenever your team needs you. What challenges Robert Duwat and what challenges you in this series? Well, um, it was just hard work. That's all we needed in overcoming, uh, just, just playing with the guys. I'm, I'm just thankful we won. I'm happy. Okay, huwag ka mga kaibigan. So, uh, yun po, mula po dito sa dugout ng uh, San Miguel Beer. Ito si Mike Musila, bumati na to. Ay, hindi, hindi na natin papayakan magdoble to. Baka pumikot na naman tayo dito. Babalik na muna tayo sa panel mga kaibigan mula po sa dugout dito ng San Miguel. Maraming salamat, Mon Liboro, yung traditional na uh, once a conference na paligo ni Mon Liboro. Nakuha na naman niya kayong araw na ito. Alam mo, yan ang pinakamahirap na trabaho pag championship. Eh. Yung mag-interview ka sa loob ng dugout. <laughs> Iniiwasan na lahat ng broadcast. Iniiwasan natin lahat yan. Sige po, marami po akong mangyayari dito. Diyan lang kayo. We'll be back in just a short while. May hipon kang lakas, may lupog kang galing, may pinuo kang pagsasama na di may hambi. Kahit kailan, wala pa rin sasarap sa ating sama. sasarap sa ating sama. Hello, kanina pa ako nagbambay test. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Alright mga kaibigan, narito po tayo sa newly renovated Aronetta Coliseum, the Big Dome. And what a dome it's uh, like now. Napakaganda po at mukhang bagong bago. Yan po ating uh, 105-1-5 starting 5 ng Alaska Milk. Uh, Barrientos, Durantes, Mino, Chambers, and Hawkins. At narito na po ang ating initial jump at center court. There's going to be a re-jump. As you look at the starting five for San Miguel Biera Sela, Velasco, Ildeposo, Siegel, and Struthers. Well, first possession, napunta dito sa San Miguel Biera, who obviously have a majority of their fans. Siyempre, alam na mga fans nila na pagkakataon ng uh, 
Baka na, baka makachot. Ano na, mali ito. Hindi tinawag uh, niya eh. Dahil kickball yun. Kickball ni, ano yun eh. Baka may violation pa ito. Eh, ano na yun eh. Pero, pero, pero. Hindi, kickball ah, uh, yung uh, uh, resetting, resetting of the shot clock. Resetting of the shot clock dapat yun. Pero, 16 pa rin. 16 pa rin. Oo. Arbal play na katinawag yun. Ako, nakalusit pa agad si Scott. Nice pero yun. Dahil na mga struggles for the first two points of the game. At, grabe. Grabe rito sa nakalusit pa rin. Dr. Jane, matagal-tagal na natin hindi na rin rin yung ganito. Klaseng tabing doon. Lang mga fans. Ito po sa Araneta Kalasiwet. Johnny, Bong Hawkins, this pass inside. Is off. Intended for Sean Chambers. So it's a 2 to nothing lead here by San Miguel. And Alaska putting pressure in the backcourt. Very early to get Nelson Marcella. Lamont Struthers against Johnny Abarietos. There's a double team. Danny Ildefonso. In a bit to lead to Lamont Struthers from the corner. Yahoo, yes. After a three-point shot that I am. So, yun ang sinasabi natin na yan ang kailangan na kailangan ng San Miguel. Puma, ah, two point lang ba yun? Oh, ah, point so, it was a long two-point shot here. Yes. Gagante si Gary Durandes from the side. Oh, yun at rest. That's a PLDT long-distance shot connected by Kenneth Durandes, Captain Marbell. Tsaka ringless yun, pare. Oh, oh. Yung net ang nakita natin dito. A lot of pressure in the backcourt there being applied by Alaska. Baagang-baagang uh, in-apply ng Alaska itong uh, pressure in the backcourt. Para madis na rin ang offense na San Miguel. Also, Brasala na sinipi outside of Bob Hawkins with a rebound. Oportunidad dito para sa Alaska na lumamang. Ganda rin ang uh, ating scoreboard, uh, scoreboard dito. Parang yung nakita namin ni Kinito sa Madison Square Garden. Oo, oh, eh, high-tech na high-tech. Eh, Dambuhala itong score, score uh, board nito, electronic scoreboard. Tsaka four corners yan, partner. So, yes. kahit saan ka mapunta doon sa, sa dome, makikita mo yung score. At saka oh. yung kapangalan ng mga players, pati lang kung may foul o wala. Oh. Walang kawala. Some of these things you have to learn later on. Kaya kung may technicals, may mga illegal defense, oh. yung mga sin. Johnny from the side. Wala. Big rebound, Big Velasco. Nakikita niyo naman yung flooring ngayon ng Araneta Coliseum, ha? Bagong bago rin. At, uh, Ito, ito, important pa ito para NBA uh, standards ito. Kasi nga nila, no? nabasa natin kanina oh. sa mahayagal. At naman sa mga brothers. Five seconds on the shot. Five seconds on the shot. Let's go. Medyo tapos. At lumabas ang bola in favor of Alaska Milk. That's another area where you have to see kung sinong lumalamang yung point guard position. Johnny, let's say, going up against uh, Rasela and uh, Boybits Victoria kung sinong lumalamang sa bigay ng puntos dyan. Uh, sa kasalukuyan, napang ako sa tingin ng dalawa, 5-3, Sean Chambers against the Mons, Travis. Tapos lang, sulat out the takes. Ito ang 50-point shoot, dapat na kagawang Papier. Nagawa na naman siya rebound. And that's going to be a foul called. It's going to be a Johnny Abarientos. You know, one of the things that when we do when we cover at the Araneta Coliseum is we are on ground floor. So, oh, nakikita so. natin parang kaharap natin yung laro, no? Kami, yes. pag nasa kabila, hindi rin natin nakikita yung three-point territory. Pero ang ganda dito, yung kitang-kita mo yung emotions sa kay intensity ng player. Nasa floor level po kami, dito sa may court side na mismo ng Araneta Coliseum. Kaya at pagka medyo kumambalo sa mga player dito, delikating si Andy Howe at si Edwin Sol. Bale, sasaluhin ko ba? Thank you, thank you, bale. Kaya naman, yung sayo ko tumatapin. Daniel on the board with a kick out to Danny Siegel. Lamont Struthers. Nick Velasco back to Struthers against Coach Julio. That's a double team. Struthers na kawala! May foul. Matatawagin by referee Ilagan, Kenneth Durandes. Nagre-reklamo, sabi niya, traveling yun. Well, tinalo niya eh, no? Pero ini-insist ni Franco. And he gave up his decision that he insisted that there was a foul here. Let's take a look at this play. Pero this view... Ayun, nabigyan na tuluyan na si, ano, si Kenneth Durendes sa technical. Oh. Nakita po ninyo yung ating slow-mo brought to you by Smart Buddy Prepaid GSM. Ito, technical free throw ito. Austin Vassella will take it. First point in the ball game here for uh, Olsen Rasella. Was almost always the designated free throw shooter. Oh. Pag nandun siya sa loob. Kung nagpapahinga siya, siguro baka si Lamont Strotters ang titira niya. Dari, oh. Danny Siegel is open for the play. Nawala yung nagpipipensa kay Danny Siegel. That's a wide open three-point shot para kay Danny Siegel. Dalo, his first three-point shot for San Miguel in this ball. Kenneth Durandes, the position agot. And 
Rebound to Daniel DeFonso. Got a battalion, 8 minutes and 42 seconds remaining in this first quarter. And DeFonso by atrás. The quick hand to Danny Seager. He recovers it at 7 line. Rio Kilamar starts down to 3 seconds on the shot clock. Struggles. Getting it back to Danny Seager. Good ball away. Well up. That was a big gamble there by Lamont Struggles. But he's a very deep rebuild. Deep rebuild. Deep rebuild. But he's not really going to be a kinalun of Danny Seager. He's not going to be a kinalun of Struggles. Coach Rio. And Rene. Yes. Importanting factor ini si Pochu ini number five ni jo dia sama tendangan di perform dia pasangan baru di kasus central slot last game. Kalau kita ada Charles Jones ada Knight ada Alan Sebago dan ada juga Bonzo push there by Kenny Davis but he did not get the close he just has to come back ini kan boleh turun mangal. Sela three point lead for San Miguel Bira three five. Here's Sean Chambers. Illegal defense in the San Miguel. So, technical foul na rin yan. So, bibigyan ng free throw ngayon ng Alaska. Alam mo, Dr. J, marami nang sasabi, sino ba nag-ahabol dito? Siyempre, ang Alaska Milk, dahil ika nga ay naunahan sila sa paramihan ng panalo. Pero marami naman nang sasabi, itong San Miguel, parang may guessing game sila. Ano kaya gagawin ng Alaska ngayon para kahit na baka naman kami na malaki, baka habulin na naman kami dito. Correct. Si Johnny Abarientos, eh, tignan mo naman. Nag-miss ng technical free throw and his averages for the series are down. Only 8.6. Not in double figures, no? Karami rin na nang tatanong tungkol niya kay Johnny. But, you know, Johnny, he can't explode at any time. Nice. Move them off the ball pero merong offensive foul. Oh, John Chambers, that's his first. Yun ang hindi kailangan. Yun ang sinasabi natin sayang. Ang ganda ng ikot nila oh. ng bola ron. The guy that was gonna take the shot was wide open. Eh, kalahin may tulang pa mo. Yung Chambers yung isang mga player ng San Miguel. That's down to 713 seconds. We're getting the first period. Danny Siegel to Danny Ay. He's the most he got away from the top. Whoa! He's there with a slam. That's a no fear slam up by Danny Ildefonso. He also had a terrific game in game number five, including lording the boards oh. there, si Danny Ildefonso. Nakakita mo yung upper body ni Danny Ildefonso. Napakalaki ng uh, increase niya dyan, eh, no? Yes, because he has really been lifting weights. Right. Bong hockey for Sean, ano wala si Danny Ay. Nakakita mo, pag malakas ka, may stability ka, hindi ka natutulak doon sa ilalim. No? Maski oh. na pagaling ka mag-rebound, pag natulak-tulak ka rito, oh. wala ka sa posisyon, hindi ka makakuha ng bola. Pag wala ka rin balance eh, kung tipungkul sa'yo, pag wala ka sa first call. Yes, that is Danny Seagull with another PLDT long distance connection. And it is now an 8 point lead. Matala naman po ang sampigal beer ng walo. Beer at the start of the second quarter. Logan to the best of white levels, first attempt. Wala. Yun yung talog na hindi pumasok. But he had a wide open low. And San Miguel rotated the ball against the global team properly in that play. Hindi magagalit ang coach doon. Tumatala Chambers, a couple of pump hooks, and he travels according to referee Ernie De Leon. Well, si veterano ng Ernie De Leon. Nandun siya sa likod mismo ng ano kaya. Kinakita naman niya nag-iskid ang paano. Kaya hindi rin masyado maangal rin si Chambers dahil nakita niya sino tumawag. Medyo nakakaipit dito. Hindi lang maangal. Hindi lang medyo. 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 Yung doon sinasabi mo, Dr. J, pag pumapasok yung mga PLDT lang doon sa skinet, it hits. Masakit. Saka nga sinasabi na doon, ouch! Oh, yun. Ouch. Maray ko. Maray ko. This is it. Isang mga shooting percentage dito ng Alaska for the first quarter in this two minutes of the second quarter. Ito sa pagdilis dito ng game. On sa puto sa court. Mabante na sa antigal. Labang sa doon sa court. Ito yung offensive movement. Chambers. 
Oh, uh, so Sean Chambers had to do it in the left line. And that's going to be number two on Sean Chambers. You see the reaction of Coach Steve Cohn. And then Hanny does, Coach Steve Cohn, didn't want to put a thing to Kanyang Kanina. So Kanyang Pugna Reclam wants to pass it here. He goes to court. As you look at that slow go, brought to you by Smart Bunny GSM Prepaid. You know, the reaction to the man, the same call, the man who's going to see what from behind by Rodney Santos. Oh, he's going to hit the ball, he's going to hit Rodney Santos sa mga ganyan mga fast break uh, finish. Saka yung foul na yun is in the act of shooting. So take two yan para kay Rodney Santos. Oo. Rodney Santos. White Labrador did his handling of his first personal foul. Bigin isang team foul sila dito. Talaga natutuwa ka dito sa scoreboard. Oo. Kapag kami na sa MSG. Hindi yan yun. Hindi na sa ating dito kayo. Hindi na sa ating dito parang gano'n na nakikita mo ilan ng puntos na nai-score ng player. Yeah. Yung foul Talagang, as a spectator, eh maganda maganda. Nanonood ako sa WNBA nun. Eh, sa mga uh, New York League of Kings. Yeah, well, uh, dito nga naman, usually, no, ha? Hindi natin natin sila yung puntos, yung class po sa mga hirap masahin. Gusto mo kasi nagbibilang na rin sa fan. Thank you na yung ginagawa niya. Ano ako, I don't want to. Si Coach Tim Gorn, eh. Also, cool. Yeah, at saka, binuwest rin niya. Tumama nga naman yung katawa. Ah, okay. So, ito, medyo nag-miss na dahil ng, ito na, nag-feel ng pressure ng San Miguel. Coach Jong uh, Yuchiko, nakausap ko sa labas ng locker room, sabi ko sa kanya, you know, uh -huh. Jong, how does it feel? It's, every game, you come into a game, parang ako rin, ganun na, yung mag involved ka sa team, you feel, kaya ba natin talunin ito? Pero when the game goes along, doon mo mararamdaman. Uh -huh. Then, you know, you settle down because depending kung sa ano na linalaro ng player mo. You get the feel of what to do and what needs to be done. Well, right now, San Miguel Beer hanging on to a two-point lead at 29-27. 4.08 remaining in the second quarter. Isolation play para kay Chambers. Against Nick Velasco, he puts it up. This is the shot and Velasco with the rebound. Good defense there by Velasco. And uh -huh. Chambers usually can make that shot. San Miguel, two out of nine and four turnovers in the last five minutes. So only shooting about 22% from the field. Kaya naman nakahabol itong uh, Alaska. Pero ngayon, nasa San Miguel naman ang bola. Oh, it's traveling on Danny Siegel. Not too much complaints on the part of San Miguel. Uh -huh. no? uh, sila, naglalaro lang sila. Alam nila, you know, you have to play the game, concentrate. Mahirap yung mawala yung concentration mo sa laro. Uh, sometimes, masyadong nag-aangal, eh, nakakasira rin yun. Totoo yan. Yeah. Wala ka sa focus. Triangle play ito, nakikita natin. Tumusugot parati dun sa corner para kay Johnny Aparito. Johnny being shattered by Nick Velasco. Hawke mm -hmm. signs it out to Aliado. The foul pa. And one. And Freddy Abuda will pick up his third personal foul in the game. And the guy that's so pumped up for Alaska here is their captain, Jojo Lastimoso. Oh. Could it be his last year in Alaska? Baba. Alam mo, pwede, partner. Uh, maybe he might go on to... There might not be other teams who might want him. No, I'm not saying anything uh, like that. But <laughs> what I mean to say is, yung parang pinakikita ni Jojo, kung aalis man ako rito, I want to go out in style. I want to win a championship. Okay. If we lose today, no more. <laughs> this, this is year only, would be fruitless. Alaska is only the second team that uh, Jojo Lastimosa has had in his uh, 11 Career. seasons. Yeah. Pure foods na gumpisa yan. No? Tama. Kabantala Aliado gives it the foul against Danny Siegel. Ito, partner, labing isa lamang ng San Miguel in the first quarter. Right now, it's Alaska with a one-point lead. San Miguel has only scored uh, eight points so far in this quarter. Uh -huh. Ang Alaska may 17 na. Sorry pa rin, kapi mo. Okay lang. Tobos na rin. Danny Siegel, top of the key. Three points. Yan ang gusto niya. Yan ang gusto niya. Pangatlo niyan. That's a third PLDT long distance connection by Danny Siegel. And he puts San Miguel Beer on top again by two at 32 to 30. Long Hawkins. Hawkins against Gil Deponso. Tumulong si Oso Gracela. Dubaib si Hawkins. Gets it back to Johnny. Let it go si Jojo Lastimosa. Five seconds on the shot clock. On the run. Wala. Hawkins! Tip in by Sean Chambers. Well, talagang lumalaban ng mabuti sa offensive boards dito ang Alaska sa second quarter. Kaya nakabalik sila dito. Tying the ball game at 32 all with two and a half minutes left. This is the first deadlock of the ball game. Believe it or not, mga kaibigan. Una rumachanet ng San Miguel Beer. Nagkabulit ng Alaska. They were able to lead momentarily. 
There's the block yeah, yeah. and Masi Chain is The Bob Strutter is breaking that deadlock once again to put San Miguel on top by two at 34-32, two minutes and 13 seconds to go, second quarter. You wanted the championship caliber game. You've had five of them. This is the sixth. Keep the balls. And the Barangay Tanang Alaska at San Miguel para sa Governor's Cup for 1999. Johnny, the kick out to Hawkins. Hawkins with a face. Hawkins, yes. Yes, sir. Yung sinasabi natin, alam mo sinusugod ka, huwag kang titira ng ganun. Dribble around the guy, take the jump shot. Take a closer jump shot. Dahil may momentum yung sumusugod sa'yo. Saka hindi ka na, oh, kung talagang marunong ka, makukunan mo pa ng foul yun. Uy, that pass. And that one bounced off one of the San Miguel Beermen. Turn over yan. Samantala, meron tayong timeout. We'll be right back. Meron ka 12 to go here in the second quarter. That's going to be a loose ball foul called on Danny I. Danny Ildefonso. You know, maganda sana ng offensive rebound for Ildefonso because he jumped over Winyo. Pero the fact that Strutters came to help out in the rebound, na wala yung bola sa kamay ni Danny Ildefonso. So tapla parin tayo sa trenta yung walk ng ito. Dani Ay at saka Dani S. Dalawang Dani Gold Player na sa Miguel. Yung Ay at saka S. Ay hindi ko din doon. Ay sa ay saka yung Dani. 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 Ay sa ay saka yung Brothers shooting over the defense. Eight points by Lamont in the first half so far. At the 17 seconds left. Last shot na dito. Alaska very, very close. But a second differential. So spread out for Johnny. Parang 1-4. Johnny got away from the center. There's the pass to John Chambers. Victor by Chambers. Well, two seconds to go. Gina Donato, the first brothers. And the first half will end with San Miguel Beer having a two-point edge over Alaska Milk in game number six of the Governor's Cup Finals. San Miguel leading the series 3-2. to two. So, hinahanap po na San Miguel ang kanilang winning game tonight while Alaska wants to extend the series to Wednesday. Abangan po ninyo ang ating halftime features dito po sa PBA. Hey guys, What's you up, gotta man? help me with Kyla. Got it. Try this. I hate designer outfits. Yeah. You're hopeless. Get out of here. Give me that. SMB. SMB. New outfit? Palitan mo ng lahat. Huwag lang ito. Balik po tayo dito sa Araneta Coliseum with a new look. Dito po sa Cubao, Quezon City. Ito sa ng third quarter. The Mount Strutter with a new steal. It's completed by Danny Siegel. Binigay kay Austin Rosella. Mount Strutter did not have a big offensive game sa Carisa. Bawalong puntos lang ang hapon. Ito, dito na sa three-point shot. Danny Ildefonso trying to recover the offensive uh, rebound and he loses it to the baseline. Up the timeout, San Miguel trying to score, to score in the fast break, but it's not going to And Alaska now in the lead by two. After falling behind, the end going from the third quarter. Can I get it, guys? It's a pass-up drive here in Alaska these last three minutes. And they have now taken a four-point lead. On the other hand, naman, kasamang Ed, pinahihirapan ni Strutter yung kanyang tira doon sa fast break. Yan ang oh. hindi sila rin. This is the biggest lead of Alaska. Alalahanin po natin ang San Miguel. Lumabang na as many as 11 points in this game. Back in the first half, Danny Siegel is open for the three. Whoa! Lumapan na naman si Danny Siegel. Panlimang three-point shot na yan. Bakit? Pangapat ni oh. Siegel. Pangapat. Oh, pangapat. Lima. May isa si uh, Boy Bates kanina. So, lima para sa San Miguel. Yes. Wait, Johnny. Yes. 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 Yes
Well, the patented Johnny Abarietos moves. Crossover dribble and then oh. shift to the other side very quickly. Nakikita mo yung uh, coaching staff ng uh, Alaska. Kasama na si Vicky Bachman at saka si Joe Reyes. Yeah. At more photos sa kalamang ng Alaska. Two points on the first corner. Now this is Elton Rosella. Rosella inside. Rosella out. Now this is Rodrigo Garcelio. So Kenneth Torrendes. At the end, uh, the captain Marbel. Ito makikita natin yung galaw ni Johnny, no ha? Ito kahit mga Amerikano, kahit mga NBA player, nagugulat dyan sa galaw na yun ni Johnny. Yeah, that's exactly like an Allen Iverson move. Oo, oh, biglang wala ka na doon, nandun na siya sa basket. Asa ka na, asa ka na. Pwede na doon ang kasalaw sa mga scanners. Pwede sa mga Johnny Santos, kinasak sa loob, binigay ko Dwight Niago, short jump to my Niago. Johnny Abarieto. Into the top first. Back to the middle of the first quarter. Here's Matthew Black. Back to the Kenneth Durendo. Durendo is against Slavos. Durendo is Durendo. Number one, Slavos takes it away. Now over to David Zuccaria. Zuccaria back to Daddy Elder. Yes! Now over to Slam Dunk. Daddy Elder Fox on that's his third slam. He's in a pole of the game. 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 Nakikita mo yung lakas talaga nito si Johnny Elder Bolsi. Ganun pa man, naman pa rin ang alas na isa. 50-50-50 man yan. Ano na ba na ba sa ating 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 sa ating. Inside pass, pinakatingin si Rocky Santos. And the San Miguel defense, quick to react there. Maganda yung substitution ni Coach John Eugico dahil nabili yung pass game ng contribution ng lahat ng Victoria Rito. Oo. Pero ito si Boybitch. Nakapumilis ang naruna sa ninyan. That's correct. Dahit sa ito sa Bisaka. Oy! Unang violation pa lamang yan ng rule para sa Alaska Milk. So, resetting lang yan. Ito na yung slam dunk na naman ni Danny Ildefonso. Yung sinasabi natin si Victoria, hindi man siya sumot, pumasa siya, hindi ba? Si Bodo Reyes. Robert Victoria, three-point shot. Wala. Rodney Santos, sabi tayo na pala siya ang Chambers. 52-51. Ang last question lang top by one. May foul dito kayo lago. Pero wala pa sa penalty dito ang San Miguel. Ang lago is not in foul trouble. Oo. I remember correctly, neither team has run into the penalty in this entire game so far, Ron. And they are playing good defense. So it's really talagang sanay na sanay na sila playing each other. They know how they move. So their anticipation is always there. Masa malas si San Miguel, natamaan ang tatamaan sila ng illegal defense goal. Oh, God, you know, I mean. Back to this, we will post the Rada for Freddy Abuda. Back to this, we will post the Rada for Freddy Abuda. Nabot ni Boybitz yan. Well, alam mo, tama yung ginawa ni Boybitz, sumugod. Ang problema, pinalo pa niya sa kamay. Sumugod ka, ilangin mo na. Di ba? Kung pumasok, sorry na lang. But that's a jump shooter. You don't wanna foul. Pwede pa pumasok yun, maging three-point play. Ba't na, huwag natin kalimutan yung ating mga kasamahan na press photographer. Ay, mga kaibigan natin, na PBA Press Photographers Club. Meron silang first PBA PPC Awards Night on December 16. Diyan sa New Sulani Hotel sa Manila, yung list ng awards, yung sports patron of the year, which is a good one to be deserving team manager, yung captain ball of the year. Itong Mr. 100% award to yung mga players. Of course, dito sa television, pagbibigyan rin ng mga play-by-play at saka mga analyst. Yung mga Miss Nicole Jenik, yung mga kinukulan ng letrato, kasali ko na may ata, nominated niya tayo. Ano na rin siya, ano pala pa rin? Ano pala pala niya? Berhel Genesis. Pastor B. Jerry. Si Noy Castillo, Kenneth, saka si Alan Kaibig. Oo, baka po. Sali tayo dun sa mga big players. Yun, ang salamat to. Ang salamat sa mga big players. Black to all of you guys. Yun ang personal. Tapos, of course, yung PBA press. Uy, mahali po siya. Ayun, Ralph Nago. Dahil ang tira, Lamont Struthers. Wala sa angulo. Struthers gets it back. May pito. Ano tawag dito? Bola ng San Miguel. Tapped out by uh, Sean Chambers. Yun. Pero nalaman 21.5 seconds remaining in the third quarter. Lamang na tatlo ang Alaska, 54 to 51. Tignan na bago po ang ihip ng hangin dito sa third quarter. Pwede na pumpisa na magandang sa Miguel dito sa third period na ito. 
Biglang umarangkada ito sa Miguel. Nagamit ng oras dito sa Miguel for the last shot. Oo. Oh. Strutters trying to base my role. Sinalo ng mga Hawkins. Out of bounds for, for Alaska with four seconds to go. Third quarter. Labang sila ng tatlo. Jojo Lastimosa quickly to Sean Chambers. Chambers gets away. Runner by Chambers. Hindi pumasok. And the third quarter ends... For the first time, a quarter ends with Alaska in the lead in this game number six. Ang ating score, 54-51. You can't afford to miss the final quarter. Stay tuned.